welcome back to the Coconut Valley Race Series on Black Hole Mountain. I'm your Sea to Sky host, Nicole Fitzgerald, and you're watching The Express. If you're a Dancing with the Stars devotee, you'll definitely recognize the dancer in this next story. Three-time world champion Louis Van Amstel shows reporter Bianca Salterbeck a few moves. It's about fun and fitness. Her name was Lola. She was a show girl. Seven years ago, a little show called Dancing with the Stars catapulted Dutch dancer Louis Van Amstel into the international spotlight. Well, I've been By coaching celebrity partners like Kelly Osborne, Louis made a name for himself, and he decided to use it to get more people to dance. I thought, you know what, I have to bring dance to the people. And down, two, three. People four. like me. Yikes. But more on that later. Van Abstel is here in Vancouver to teach the instructors from local Steve Nash gyms to lead dance classes inspired by his new series of DVDs. The Blast is a fitness dance program that's based on all these fun dances people see on Dancing with the Stars. In one hour of one class, you can be doing sometimes six to seven dances. And I think you know where this is going. I'm getting a personal lesson. I kind of like the Latin dances. Sure you do. Yeah. The less you think, the faster you learn. And that's kind of my motto. One and two. One and two. That's all and two. So one and that. two. Yes, and two. Oh, yeah, one okay. and two. Now left foot forward and back. Left foot forward, right foot back. One and two. You're good. I think I like Latin. <laughs> Shake it up. One and two. Shake those boots. Ha. Yes, you do like Latin. And left. Keep that rhythm. Next up, the Paso Doble. The Paso Doble is it's based on the bullfight and flamenco. So yes. very passionate. You're going to go down, up on your toes. Ha. One, down. two, three. Nipples forward All right. and elbows back. Okay. Oh, and then yeah. and one, two. Oh, you got to stem hard, full heartedly there. And one, two, three, four. And down, up. Open those arms. We're not doing ballet here. We're doing pasta doble. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. This is more focusing on muscle toning and muscle yeah. endurance. Okay, I need to work on my angry dancing, but this definitely makes you sweat. And hey, if you dance like me, Louie recommends practicing at home before you hit a class. Learn it with the curtains closed, just them and the TV and me. Louis says Kelly Osborne was his favorite partner because she proved anyone can dance. Trouble, 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 trouble. Couldn't, I mean, couldn't even stand up straight. Pigeon toed, hated sweating, and then make it through to the final and, and pretty much change her life. Before I let Louis head back to LA in advance of the new season of Dancing with the Stars, I had to ask him, how can I get on the show? Just create a scandal, okay. become infamous, and you can make it on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> that is good Apparently. advice, good advice. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in Vancouver for The Express. When Louis is in Dancing with the Stars, he runs a non-profit dance troupe called Vision Works, which incorporates the four major dance styles. The race is on here at the Kokanee Valley Race Series, a recreational race that's open to the public here on Whistler Blackcomb. Another great way to keep in shape is by joining Metro Vancouver host Johanna Ward as she gets ready for the sun run. Today's training tip is all about rolling with the punches. Oh, oh, what is that? That's a combination of where your VMO meets your adductor. So it's probably between 80 and 90% of all beginner runners who aren't progressed properly will have some sort of overuse type injury. This is a flattering position. Well, Joanna, what we need to do is find the epicenter of the storm and then start straightening your leg. So find that sweet spot and then go for it. It's all sweet. Myofascia is a layer that exists over top of our muscles. Form rolling is a technique we use to basically take the wrinkles over the top of the muscles. Okay, the position's a little more flattering, but this muscle hurts way more. Well, that's your IT band and it's commonly overused in running. Oh my God. That's it, keep rolling. Is this gonna start to feel any better? Ah! I kinda like this for the foam rollers, a little more relaxing. It's cool though that I can do this on my own. I guess that's the point. That is the whole point. Here's something else you can do with the foam rollers. Yeah. That's our sun run tip for today. Short and sweet, just like Johanna. She has a runner's blog. You can find it at the Vancouver Sun website. 
The Express, you'll only find it here on Shaw TV. Today we're getting whipped into shape with running, racing, and next up, sailing. We develop our sailors to a white sail level. After the break, the Chilliwack Sea Cadets get active in outdoor adventures and leadership. Join Mana Mansour on Pacific Center's West Coast Style as she examines the ethos of what we wear. West Coast Style reflects a love of nature, travel, and adventure. Pacific Center's West Coast Style, exclusively on Shaw TV. I've got a serious pain in my head. I can't see straight, I'm crying instead. I try to speak, but the words will not come. I try to walk, but my legs come undone. I've lost my balance over you. Is it love? Is it true? Sadly, it's not love. It's a stroke. Note the sudden weakness, difficulty speaking, vision problems, headache, and loss of balance. Any one of these symptoms could mean a stroke. Call 911. By acting fast, you could save up to 2 million brain cells a minute. A message from the Heart and Stroke Foundation. Never mind the love stuff. Pay attention to your brain. Welcome back to The Express on Shaw TV. I'm your Sea to Sky host, Nicole Fitzgerald, and today we are cheering on recreational racers here at the Coconee Valley Race Series on Blackcomb Mountain. Next up, imagine a group where you can participate in sailing, outdoor adventures, and parades, and it's all for free. The only catch, you need to be 19 years old or younger. The program is set up to provide young people in our community with the skills to become good citizens, to become leaders, to be able to problem solve, and give them skills to be able to function in the outside world. The Sea Cadets program very well might be Chilliwack's best kept secret. Any kid between the ages of 12 and 18 is welcome to join for free. Well, our doors are open to any kids in the community that want to come and try the cadet program. The cadet program really is a program that crosses social economical boundaries. So every cadet that walks in the door, every youth that walks in the door has the same opportunities as any other kid. They all get new uniforms, they all can go to summer training, they all can go on exchanges overseas, they can do any number of, of things. So it opens the door for basically any, any kid in the community. Cadets have the opportunity to participate in a wide range of fun activities, a few of which could lead them down a path to something much bigger. We provide them with with activities to do, for example, we teach them seamanship skills. We develop our sailors to a white sail level uh, two or three at this local uh, headquarters level. And then we have summer training programs where they can, where cadets can go and continue their sailing at, right up into an instructor or up to a racing program at a dinghy level. Joining cadets can also help youth sail through school. Pretty much anything can happen while you're here and it's good experience. Helps you with discipline, like work ethic. I've gotten a lot better in school since I joined cadets. I got 12 credits in school actually for being in the program. I need 80 to graduate so that's a good portion right there and they give you your first aid. Stuff to get you part-time jobs too. So I put this down on an application for a fire academy through my school and I actually got into the fire academy because I had my first aid through cadets and my radio through cadets as well. Not only do the cadets learn tactile skills, they also get a chance to broaden their communication skills. You learn to work together and nothing gets done. Like I have friends through cadets now, and people all around the country even through the camps. With opportunities to work, travel and play, joining the Chilliwack Sea Cadets seems like a no-brainer. For Shaw TV, I'm Kryn Skelbeck. Looks like fun. Squamish has an air cadet program as well. They meet every Tuesday night at Don Ross Secondary School. There's so much to do here in the sea to sky. Whistler's famous for its alpine and Squamish is famous for its big rocks. The Express Spotlight has more. Celebrate Squamish's climbing roots. Climber and author Anders Arome shares his personal antidotes and photos on the history of climbing in Squamish, beginning with his first route on the Stuwamish Chief in 1972. 
tickets for the World Ski and Snowboard Festival's infamous 72-hour filmmaker showdown sold out in 11 days. The April Festival still has tickets for other signature events, such as the Pro Photographer Showdown, the Chairlift Review, and Intersection. Visit WSSF.com. Don't miss out on Whistler's biggest party. Shop local at the Made in Whistler Artisan Market every Saturday from 3 to 7 p.m. at the Western Resort. This new market showcases everything from homemade breads and chutney to pottery and unique fashion, and something you'll only find in Whistler. Well, that wraps up this week's show at the Kokanee Valley Race Series on Blackcomb Mountain. The next race is up on March 15th. Hopefully, we'll see you there. If you'd like to see more of our stories online, just visit us at shawtv.com. From all of us on the Express, thanks for watching, and we'll leave you with a few scenes from the Van Dopp Gallery in New Westminster.